English language lesson. This lesson is for Form 1 students. This lesson is based on a textbook Pass 2. The theme is Health and Environment. We are doing Unit 4 and the topic is Life on Earth. Okay, students, let's begin by looking at the learning standards. Here we have the main skills. They are speaking, reading, listening and also writing. So the main skill for speaking is 2.1.1. Ask about and give detailed information about themselves and others. Reading 3.1.2. Understand specific details and information in simple longer text. Listening 1.1.1. Understand with little or no support the main ideas in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. And writing 4.1.1 give detailed information about themselves and others. Next, we have also the complementary skills. Here we have speaking 2.1.1 ask about and give detailed information about themselves and others. Speaking 2.3.1 Keep interaction going in short exchanges by checking understanding of what a speaker is saying. Reading 3.1.1, understand the main points in simple longer text. Reading 3.1.2, understand specific details and information in simple longer text. Then we have listening 1.1.2, understand with little or no support. Specific information and details in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. And the last one, writing 4.2.3, produce a plan or a draft of two paragraphs or more and identify and modify this appropriately in response to feedback. Let's begin our lesson with an introduction. Dear students, what do you know about Earth Natural Wonders? Scan this link to answer the quiz. The quiz is on fun trivia website. Dear students, we will start our lesson today with vocabulary and speaking. Unit 4. Vocabulary and speaking. Geography and landscape. Exercise 1. Canyon. Desert. River. Valley Ocean Coast Reef Forest Lake Beach Waterfalls Mountain Cliffs Cave Island Now let's look at the names of mountains, rivers and others. So they have capital letter. For example, Table Mountain. So T and M are capital letters. Then you have the Everest. Then you have the Mississippi. So E, Everest and M Mississippi, the are capital letters. Now copy and complete the table with the blue words from exercise 1. Let's look at the answers. Here you have land and also another group is water. So for land you have canyon, desert, valley, coast, forest, mountain, cliffs, cave and island. And for water you have river, reef, lake and waterfall. Adjectives to describe places. You can use these adjectives like beautiful, dangerous, amazing, unusual, boring and interesting. Let's look at these questions. Which place in the list do you most or least want to visit? You can write, I would love to visit the Dead Sea because it's amazing. I don't want to visit the Niagara Falls because... So you can give answers like, I'd love to visit because, I want to visit because, it's more beautiful than, 
can say this, for example, write a list of natural wonders in your country and then work in pairs, we can talk about your list of natural wonders. Example given, Mont Serret is more beautiful than Tabernas Desert. No, I don't agree, I think. So you can say, maybe Pulau Langkawi is more beautiful than Pulau Kapas. You can say, then you can answer, yes, I agree, it is beautiful. Or you can say, no, I don't agree. I think Pulau Kapas has more beautiful scenery. Dear students, on this slide, you can see natural wonders of Malaysia. There are a few here. Uh, for example, you have the first one, Gunung Mulu National Park in Sarawak, Batu Caves in Selangor, Tusan Cliff Horse Rock in Miri, Sarawak, Mount Kinabalu in Sabah, Pinnacles at Mulu National Park in Sarawak, Sipadan Island in Sabah, Nia Caves in Sarawak, Mosey Forest in Cameron Highlands, Pahang, Maliao Basin in Sabah, and the last one, Cobra Sea Stack at Bako National Park in Sarawak. Gunung Mulu National Park, situated in the Malaysian state of Sarawak on the island of Borneo, is outstanding both for its high biodiversity and for its karst features. The park is dominated by Gunung Mulu, a 2,376 m high sandstone pinnacle and the property is the most studied tropical karst area in the world. The geological Melano formation contains a remarkable concentration of caves, revealing a geological history of over more than 1.5 million years. Gunung Mulu National Park provides significant natural habitat for a wide range of plant and animal species. The park is dominated by Gunung Mulu, a 2,377 m high sandstone pinnacle. At least 295 kilometers of explored caves provide a spectacular sight and are home to millions of cave swiftlets and bats. The Sarawak Chamber, 600 m by 415 m and 80 m high, is the largest known cave chamber in the world. Now, let's do the next lesson, reading. Unit 4, Reading, an online news article, Exercise 2. Family wanted to live on an island. The owners of a small Scottish island are looking for a new family to live there. The Isle of Muck, which is only four kilometres long, is one of the smallest islands in Scotland. It's only got 16 houses and a population of 30 people. Life on the island is quieter than in most places. There aren't many facilities. There's no post office on the island and there's only one shop. As for entertainment, there's one cafe, but it isn't open in the evenings. Technology lovers might have a problem because there isn't any electricity between 11am and 5pm. Its location also means it isn't easy to use your mobile phone. The Isle of Muck has other attractions, however. It's the most beautiful place you can imagine, with white sandy beaches and clear sea. There's lots of wildlife, including seabirds and dolphins. It's also possibly the friendliest and safest place in the world. The last crime happened here in the 1960s and nobody locks their doors. The residents of Muck hope that the chosen family will play an active part in island life. The most important thing, however, is that they have children so that they can attend the island's primary school. It's only got eight pupils at the moment and they'd like it to be bigger. I can't think of anything worse than living on a small island. Imagine seeing the same people all the time. And what do they do there in the evenings? City boy. It's true that islands are more boring than cities, but city people aren't as friendly as island people. Island life is also healthier than city life. Lara, 17.
Did you know? There are 787 islands in Scotland. Dear students, look at the pictures on the slide before this. Can you guess what country this island is in? So the answer is Scotland. Now, you're going to read and listen to the article, then copy the and complete the notes. For example, the first one, you have the name of the island, and number two, you have the country, then you have size, you have number of people, you have facilities, shop and school and others. So after you read and listen to the article, now let's go through the answers. So the first one, name of island, it is the Isles of Mark. Country, Scotland, size 4 km long, number of people, 30, facilities. So on the island, you can see, you can get shop, cafe and a school. Now write two positive things and two negative things about living on the Isles of Mark. Example given here, you can have you have two here for positive, beautiful place, lots of wildlife, and negative you have not many facilities, not much entertainment. So you can write for positive. Number three is white sandy beaches. Number four clear sea. Number five friendly people, and number six is a safe place. Or you can write there is no crime on the island. And for the negative things, you can write number seven, there's no post office, there's only one shop, the cafe closed in the evening, there's no electricity between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. And it is not easy to use a mobile phone on the island. Now let's compare your town or city with our mark. Write three differences. Example here, there are a lot of shops in my town. Let's look at the answers. For example, you can write, there are a lot of shops in my town. Number two, you can say, there are lots of vehicles on the road. Number three, there are about 40,000 people living in my town. After you have finished uh, making comparison with uh, your town and the hours of mark, you can read an article and comments again. Which comment do you agree with? Why? You can say, I agree with City Boy because. Let's begin the grammar lesson. Dear students, for grammar, we are learning comparative and superlative. So here you have adjectives like small, big, friendly, interesting, good, and bad. Let's look at the comparative smaller, bigger, friendlier, more interesting better and worse. Superlative, the smallest, the biggest, the friendliest, the most interesting, the best and the worst. Now study the table and copy, then copy and complete the sentences. It's. So you have, answer will be, the most beautiful place you can imagine. B. Island life is healthier than city life. Number two, which sentence in exercise one compares one thing with another thing? So the answer is B. B. Island life is healthier than city life. So this is comparing one thing with another. Then another question, which sentence in exercise one compares one thing with many other things? So the answer is sentence A. It's the most beautiful place you can imagine. So this is comparing one thing with many others. Now let's look at more comparatives and superlatives. So we have adjective fast. Comparative is faster. Then you have superlative, the fastest. You have hot, hotter, the hottest. Funny, funnier, the funniest. Expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. Good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst. Now, write sentences using the comparative form of the adjectives in brackets. 
Remember, you are using the comparative form of the adjectives. Example, the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, and you have the word cold. So this is the adjective. The sentence, the Atlantic is colder than the Mediterranean. So let's look at number one. You have Spain, Scotland, hot. So the answer, Spain is hotter than Scotland. Next, number two, you have cities, villages, busy. So the answer, cities are busier than villages. Next, you have swimming, running, enjoyable. So the center is swimming is more enjoyable than running. Number four, you have winter, summer, fat. So the center is winter is worse than summer. And number five, you have Iceland, Egypt, cold. So the answer, the sentence is Iceland is colder than Egypt. And the last number six, the Mississippi, the Thames, long. So the sentence is the Mississippi is longer than the Thames. Dear students, do remember that we also use S, S plus adjective to compare things. Example, Scotland is as beautiful as England, so they are equally beautiful. Islands aren't as dirty as cities, so cities are dirtier. Now for number four, we write the sentences from exercise three in your notebook using isn't, aren't, as, as. Example, the Mediterranean isn't as cold as the Atlantic. So here we have answers. Number one, Scotland isn't as hot as Spain. Number two, villages aren't as busy as cities. Number three, running isn't as enjoyable as swimming. Number four, summer isn't as bad as winter. Number five, Egypt isn't as cold as Iceland. Number six, the Thames isn't as long as the Mississippi. Dear students, for exercise 5, order the words to make superlative sentences. The first example, the given example is Wettest is England placed in the Lake District. So the sentence, the Lake District is the wettest place in England. Number 1, you have City, the Tokyo, world biggest, the in is. So the answer, Tokyo is the biggest city in the world. Number two, you have in popular most is Sydney, the beach, Bondi Beach. So you can write Bondi Beach is the most popular beach in Sydney. Number three, the, the Maldives country flattest the east world in. So the sentence is the Maldives is the flattest country in the world. Number four, in Lake Famous, most the large nest Scotland is. So the answer, Lodge Ness is the most famous lake in Scotland. The last number five country, the smallest world is Vatican City in the. So the answer, Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. Next exercise, this is exercise six. Complete the questions with the superlative form of the adjectives in bracket. Then answer the questions about your country. So number one, what is, what is the highest mountain? Number two, long river. So what is the longest river? Number three, big lake. So what is the biggest lake? Number four, what is the most beautiful beach? Number five, what is the nearest island? And number six, what is the most expensive city? Now we are doing vocabulary and listening. Unit 4. Vocabulary and Listening Animals Exercise 1 Gorilla Elephant Crocodile Owl Whale Rhinoceros Polar Bear Snake Turtle Butterfly J 
giraffe. Penguin. Tiger. B. Dear yes, students, which four animals do you think aren't endangered species? So you have the lizard, here, gorilla, elephant, crocodile, owl, whale, rhinoceros, polar bear, snake, turtle, butterfly, giraffe, penguin, tiger and bee. So the animals which aren't endangered species are owl, snake, giraffe and bee. Unit 4 Vocabulary and listening. Animals. Exercise 2. Top 10 endangered species. These animals are in danger. Find out why below. 1. Hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch butterfly to survive. 2. People are destroying the forest where the mountain gorilla lives. 3. Large areas of ice where the polar bear hunts for food are melting. 4. Tourists are disturbing the leatherback sea turtle, which lays its eggs on beaches. 5. It's illegal but people still hunt the tiger for its skin. 6. People in some countries eat whale meat. 7. People hunt the rhinoceros for its horn, which is very valuable. 8. In some parts of the world, the penguin can't find enough fish to eat. 9. People are building houses and roads in areas where the crocodile lives. 10. Hunters kill this animal because elephant tusks are worth a lot of money. Dear hey students, let's go through the answers. Number 1 is butterfly, number 2 gorilla, Number three, polar bear. Number four, turtle. Number five, tiger. Number six, whale. Number seven, rhinoceros. Number eight, penguin. Number nine, crocodile. And number ten, elephant. Unit four. Vocabulary and listening. Animals. Exercise two. Top ten endangered species. These animals are in danger. Find out why below. 1. Hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch butterfly to survive. 2. People are destroying the forest where the mountain gorilla lives. 3. Large areas of ice where the polar bear hunts for food are melting. 4. Tourists are disturbing the leatherback sea turtle, which lays its eggs on beaches. 5. It's illegal, but people still hunt the tiger for its skin. 6. People in some countries eat whale meat. 7. People hunt the rhinoceros for its horn, which is very valuable. 8. In some parts of the world, the penguin can't find enough fish to eat. 9. People are building houses and roads in areas where the crocodile lives. 10. Hunters kill this animal because elephant tusks are worth a lot of money. Dear yes, students, you're supposed to look at the headings in the table. How do you say the words in your language? 
Then let's look at the next one. Copy and complete the table with the animals in exercise 1. So the mammals are gorilla, elephant, whale, rhinoceros, polar bear, giraffe and tiger. And for reptile, we have crocodile, snake and turtle. For bird, owl, penguin, insect, butterfly and bee. Unit 4. Vocabulary and listening. A discussion. Exercise 5. Which endangered animal are you going to do your project on? Whales, I think. I found this article about them on the internet. And they're really amazing animals, you know. What's so amazing about them? Well, first of all, they're really intelligent. For one thing, they've got their own language. What do you mean? Fish can't talk. They aren't fish. Honestly, Chris, don't you listen to anything in biology? They're mammals. OK, if you say so. Anyway... Whales make sounds under the ocean in order to communicate with other whales. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. And they're very friendly animals too. When people go whale watching, the whales swim near the boats and look at the people. Wow! I'd love to see a real whale. Me too. But soon there might not be any. Why not? Whale hunting isn't allowed anymore, is it? No, but they still do it in some countries. Another problem is ships. Ships? Yes. Sometimes ships hit whales and kill them by mistake. That's terrible. I know. Anyway, what are you doing your project on? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Maybe snakes. Snakes? They aren't an endangered species, are they? No, but I know a lot about them. My brother's got a pet snake, you see. You're joking. Yuck! Dear students, let's go through the answers. Just now you listened to Chris and Lucy talking about a project they had to do. Now, the first question is, what mistake does Chris make? Answer is... He thinks whales are fish. The next question, why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? Answer is, they have got their own language. Number two, what do whales do when people watch them from boats? Answer, they swim near the boats and look at the people. Number three, what does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? The answer is, hunt whales. Number four, why are ships dangerous to whales? Answer, the ships or they hit them. It means hitting the whales and kill the whales by mistakes. Number five, which animals does Chris want to write about? Answer will be snakes. Dear students, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot from this topic. So see you in another lesson and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omni Tube. I am Madam Gan signing off. Bye bye.